Okay. So the usage of social media around the world is even increasing. Social media statistics from 2019 show that there are 3.5 billion social media users globally. This is 45% of the Persian population of about 7.7 .7 billion. In addition, as a result of a survey of 1,666 people about the reason why they use social media a lot, 833 or 15% of all respondents cited the reason for using social media because they want to communicate with people around them. This is because basically social media is a platform created for convenient communication with people around us. And it can make our story easily easier for people around us to see. Well, do you think social media is a problem or not? I I think social media is becoming a problem in today's world. More and more people are addicted to smartphones. According to this article, Yonsei University Garden ICT Research Center analyzed the status of 6,090 6, smartphone users nationwide in 2016. As a result, smartphone usage for elementary, middle, high school was 36.2 hours per week and an average of more than 5 hours a day. Wow. This showed that teenagers are addicted to smartphones and use very many smartphones a day and a week. In addition, according to this paper, it is that there are many people who secretly use smartphones during lecture time. A survey was conducted on 270 people about use of smartphones during lecture time. Reports a question about, have you ever used your smartphone during class? 94% or 255 people answered yes. And report a question, what did you use when you using your smartphone? 72% or 197 people answered that it was on social media. As much as this, more and more people are becoming addicted to social media. There are more and more fake news. For example, currently some people believe fake news about COVID-19 through social media and spread the fake news around the world using advantage of social media, the ability to share news quickly. But believing misinformation, rumor, or fake news can indeed injure our lives because about 52 million misinformation about COVID-19 are spreading rapidly through the social media. Wow. Examples of misinformation about the COVID-19 include seizing oil can prevent infection, can prevent the COVID-19 results water, and can reuse it by spraying disinfectant directly in the mask and so on. However, as we become increasingly believing in this uh, on social media, we can distinguish between real news and fake news, and the risks are spreading very faster. It has a very bad effect on our health. Do you know about forehead posture? This is a phenomenon that occurs when we are in a bad posture for a long time by sticking out our neck for when using smartphone. In addition, last year in 2019, 2 million people visited the hospital because of forehead health posture. Mm -hmm. And among that, teenager and 20s occupied 70% of the total. Also, according to the commentary movie called the social media, it is said that depression and Asian TV increased enormously among teenagers in the United States. The number of adult number has increased abruptly since 2011. The number of girls in late teens increased by 62% and the number of girls in early teens increased almost triple to 187%. All of these tests increased the cost of depression and anxiety since social media came out. 
This is because people, person pay a lot of attention to like and comment every time person post a photo after social media come out. To sum up, I think social media is becoming a problem in today's world because it leads to more and more people are addicted to smartphones. There are more and more fake news and it has a very bad effect on our health. I want to announce this problem because it is a very serious problem in today's world. And to solve this problem, we need to reduce the smartphone usage. Also, we must use our smartphone in the proper posture to reserve for the health posture. Thank you. Okay.